Hey, this is Presh Talwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. Here's a very fun number puzzle. You start out with three identical copies of each number, and you need to make it equal to six. The puzzle is to make each equation true using common mathematical operations. There are two rules. First, you cannot introduce any new digits. So for example, the operation of cube root would not be allowed because it involves the digit 3. The second rule is you must have the result equal to 6. You cannot use the not equal symbol. I thank Tyler Senko for first suggesting me this problem, and I thank Caio Cerqueira from Brazil for also suggesting it. I also want to present a note. My videos will make you so smart that even difficult problems like this will become easy to you. In videos like this, you'll see people asking for harder problems, and it's the best proof that these videos are teaching math to people around the world. So can you figure it out? Give this puzzle a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So how can we solve this puzzle? I'll mention that some of the equations have multiple answers. Due to time constraints, I'm only going to present some of the solutions, and you may have found another creative method to solve one of the equations. Let everyone know your answer in the comments. We'll start solving these by going from some of the more straightforward and easy ones to then some of the more involved and harder problems. Let's start out with 2 to 2 to equal 6. We can solve this by using the equation 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 6. So we've already figured out 1. Now 666 is also similar. We can take 6 plus 6 minus 6 to get to 6, or we can also do 6 times 6 over 6 is equal to 6. For our aggregation of solutions, let's just go with the first equation. Now let's solve 777 equals 6. We can do this as 7 minus 7 over 7 is equal to 6. We get a very similar solution for 5, 5, 5. We can take 5 plus 5 over 5 is equal to 6. So we're making good progress. Now let's solve 3, 3, 3 is equal to 6. One way to solve this is 3 times 3 minus 3 is equal to 6. But there are actually several more solutions for this. Another one is 3 factorial plus 3 minus 3 is equal to 6. We can also do 3 factorial times 3 over 3 is equal to 6. Or we can do something like the square root of the quantity 3 times 3, and then we can add 3, and that's also equal to 6. So for presentation purposes, I'll just take 3 times 3 minus 3 is equal to 6. Now let's solve 999 9, 9 is equal to 6. Well, one trick we can use is let's take the square root of each of these 9s. Here's a handy mathematician's trick. Since the square root of 9 is equal to 3, we have reduced the problem to solving 3, 3, 3 is equal to 6. And this problem has previously been solved. So any of our solutions for 3, 3, 3 is equal to 6 will also apply to this 9, 9, 9 once we've applied the square root to each of the 9s. So we could solve this as the square root of 9 times the square root of 9 minus the square root of 9, that's equal to 6. Or we could take the quantity the square root of 9 factorial plus the square root of 9 minus the square root of 9 is equal to 6. Or we have some other solutions like the square root of 9 factorial times 9 over 9 is equal to 6, or the quantity square root of 9 times the square root of 9 divided by the square root of 9, we take the whole thing and the factorial of that, and that is also equal to 6. For presentation purposes, I'll just take this first equation. Now let's go to 4, 4, 4 is equal to 6. Well, once again, we can take the square root of each of these numbers. Again, we have our handy trick. Since the square root of 4 is equal to 2, we have reduced the problem to 2, 2, 2 is equal to 6, and that's previously been solved. For example, 
we can take the sum of these numbers and that'll be equal to six. But if you don't wanna do that, you can also do the quantity four minus four over four and we take the factorial of that quantity. We can also do the square root of four plus four over four we take that entire quantity and then take the factorial of that, and that's also equal to six. So for presentation purposes, let's just take this first equation. Now let's solve 10, 10, 10 is equal to six. Let's do this in steps. We'll do 10 minus 10 over 10, and at this point, our result is equal to nine. We'll now take the square root of this to get to a result of three, then, we will take the factorial. So that's how we can get 10, 10, 10 to equal six. Now, what about one, one, one? Well, notice if we add the three numbers, we get to three, and then we'll take the factorial, and that's equal to six. So now, how do we solve zero, zero, zero is equal to six? Well, first, we'll take the factorial of each of these numbers. We again use a mathematician's trick. Since zero factorial is equal to one, we have reduced the problem to one, one, one is equal to six, which has previously been solved. So we add up these numbers and then we take the factorial of the sum and that will be equal to six. Finally, how do we solve eight, eight, eight is equal to six? Many people consider this to be the hardest of all of these equations. So we'll work in steps. We'll take eight plus eight and that's equal to 16. We'll take the square root of that, and the square root of 16 is equal to 4. We then take the square root of the square root of that. So the square root of the square root of 16 will be equal to 2. Now we take 8 minus 2, and that's equal to 6. So that's one way to solve this. But another way that you could solve this is you could take 8 plus 8 over 8, and that'll be equal to 9. We then take the square root of 9, which will be equal to three. And then we take the factorial of three and that's equal to six. So that's it. We figured out how to get six in each of these equations. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching. These math videos inspire and build confidence for people around the world. And they already have over a hundred million views, but the math meanies never praise them and spread their negativity. Let's be extra positive to cancel them out. Please help by subscribing for free to get the newest videos, watching and sharing all of Mind Your Decisions videos, and you can email me a puzzle or math topic at presh@mindyourdecisions.com. If you so choose, you can check out my books which are listed in the video description and you can support me on Patreon to earn exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.